everyone just wanted to bring you my latest eBay find here it's um, 11 Corbin Russwin six pin rim cylinder locks they all work really smooth and they've all got really deep cuts with a really high cut on the end um, they're not all quite the same so there's bidding on this one but um, they've got a really wild restricted keyway Wow, look at the bidding on this one. There we, there we go. Focus there a little bit, camera. But, uh, yeah, look at that keyway. That is a pretty wild keyway. Um, definitely won't be able to get any picks through here. 15 thousandths won't even go through this warding. Um, and with as deep cuts as these are, even a short hook like this Euro hook would probably have some pretty good difficulty. So what I'm thinking is that these locks are probably going to be my next round of challenge locks that I make. And uh, they'll probably wind up being extremely nasty to pick, mainly because of this warding here and the uh, deep cuts on the keys. Because I'm not going to modify any of the keys on this one. I don't think I need to, especially with biddings like this to play with. Um, so let's see if we can go ahead and get one picked on camera here. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, that one looks fun, sure. Slide these out of the way here. And let's get him viced up clamped up, whatever you want to call it, but the keys work beautifully. They don't turn all the way because that's the tailpiece hitting the vise there. Just my camera just a little bit more here. There we go. Um, let's see, if I go top of the top of the keyway, that'll rob me a lot of space. So let's go bottom. And I want to use this Euro hook. Try to work my way to the back without setting anybody, hopefully. Yeah. Okay, I got a click out of six. I think I had a click out of four on my way back as well. Oh, that's oversetting somebody. So let's, let's just start over again real quick since I just started. Okay, so... Yep, that was four that I got to click off of before I got six. Okay, I got a little bit of false set, so there must be some spools in these. I'm getting a little counter rotation off of pin one. If I can get under, it's so deep. Oh, there we go. We got an open. So that wasn't too terribly bad. There's probably, because these are restricted keys, there's probably some master wafers in here. We'll make these easier to pick. But uh, when I pin these up, we're going to be saying goodbye to the master wafers. Man, these are some tight threaded little screws. All right. And yep, master wafers, I think one of them went flying here. And I just dropped it again. And it had some little ball bearings for uh, drill protection in it too and I just dropped another master wafer so I was right about that at least and there's another master wafer there so let me put these that one goes to two that one goes to five 
And that one rolled on the floor, so I'm not worried about it. All right, so let's dump these guys out. There's a master wafer in one. Steel key pin. Steel key pin in two. A long steel key pin in three. Another long one in four. Steel in five. And steel in six. Nothing magic about the core, but in these, I saw them drop out. There were some little bitty ball bearings in there, but uh, those were just drill protection, I believe. So I don't think I'll worry about putting those back in. Okay, let's see what's up top. See what kind of magic we have, because I definitely felt some spools in there. Yep, there's a spool in one. Come on, camera, focus. There's another spool in two. Another spool in three. Spool in five or four. Spool in five. And maybe a spool in six. Let's see. Nope, six would be a standard. And I just dropped another master wafer out. That one would have gone in six. All right. Well, anyway, guys, that was these Corbin Rust ones. With um, a keyway like that, these guys are going to be tough little challenge locks. I look forward to making them, and I look forward to sending some out to y'all. Anyway, stay safe. Stay legal. Don't pick any locks that you don't own or locks that you don't have permission to pick. As always, please like and subscribe by pressing the subscribe button underneath.